myself Muthuraj, assistant professor and head in charge of department of medical laboratory technology, school of early sciences, Vinaya Missions Research Foundation, deemed to be University Salem. Today we are going to discuss about anticoagulants. Uh, there are various anticoagulants used in the clinical laboratory. So today we are going to discuss about the uh, each anticoagulants. So now we will talk about the anticoagulants. Uh, what are anticoagulants? Anticoagulants are used in the clinical laboratory uh, to prevent the uh, blood from the clotting. So, uh, in our clinical laboratory, there are uh, various types of uh, anticoagulants. So, uh, we will see one by one. Uh, first, we will talk about the what is anticoagulant, what is the definition of the anticoagulants. Blood coagulates when withdrawn from the blood vessels. The anticoagulants are used to prevent the blood from the uh, clotting. Mainly, uh, our hematology laboratory, we are using the uh, anticoagulant for the preservation of the cells uh, and the morphology of the cells. Okay. It is used to prevent formation of clotting of the blood. Most of the anticoagulants used in the hematology laboratory, not only in the uh, other sites, uh, here we are using the uh, clinical laboratories. Commonly used anticoagulants are calcium chelating agents, one is EDTA, oxalate, sodium citrate solution, sodium fluoride, heparin. Uh, what are the calcium uh, chelating agents? Calcium acts as a chelating agents in the clotting mechanism. That is what we are uh, using are called as calcium chelating agents. So here the EDTA is there, right? So what is EDTA? EDTA means ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. So in hematology we are using the EDTA. That is very good anticoagulants. That is. Uh, replaced now. Uh, which one is replaced now? Oxalate is replaced by the uh, oxalate is replaced by the uh, EDTA. Why we are using the EDTA? Why we are not using the oxalate? Because the oxalate cannot preserve the morphology of the cells for the long time. Compare then uh, EDTA, right? So in the ethylene diamine tetraacetic is a uh, good anticoagulants. Now the oxalate has been replaced by the EDTA. So uh, we will uh, talk about the EDTA uh, in detail. I will go to the next one oxalate. Currently we are not using. Currently we are using EDTA only. We are not using oxalate types. So that we have the clinic, uh, we have in the clinical laboratory for the showcase only. Next one is sodium citrate. This solution, uh, this can be used as a uh, like a solution, right? The, this citrate is uh, used in the blood bank uh, and in the uh, coagulation process and the test we are using the citrate, sodium citrates and the fluoride, fluoride for the biochemistry laboratory for analysis of blood glucose level, uh, blood glucose level, right? So uh, next one is heparin. Uh, heparin, what is heparin? Heparin also uh, naturally present in our body, it is a biological uh, anticoagulant that is called as biological anticoagulant. Heparin is also uh, used in the uh, laboratory that is uh, uh, commercial also available. Okay. So, uh, we will see the uh, next slide. Uh, what is calcium chelating? Already I explained you right, this is a calcium is the essential for the uh, many steps of the uh, uh, clotting mechanism. Chelating of calcium prevents the clotting, right? Chelating of calcium prevents the clotting. Most of the anticoagulants in the laboratory act by binding calcium as an insoluble salt or the soluble but an ionized salt. So, we will we'll see the uh, EDTA. So, what is EDTA? EDTA is the ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. This is uh, we are using uh, currently we are using this EDTA. So ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid is a very good anticoagulant uh, used in the hematology laboratory. Hematology uh, for what are the analysis uh, can be used uh, for uh, uh, complete blood count, full uh, full count, complete blood count like parameters like uh, red blood cells count, uh, hemoglobin estimation. Uh, not only for that, WBC uh, total count, platelet count all those uh, parameters uh, for analysis uh, we are using the uh, EDTA. So EDTA can preserve the morphology of cells up to the 3 hours. Uh, morphology up to 3 hours from the collection right and then uh, it preserves uh, cells up to 3 hours. Then after for cell count 
uh, we can use ETF for up to 12 hours, right? So up to 12 hours uh, from the collection, okay? From the collection, ETF is used in the solid form at a concentration of uh, 2 mg blood of 2 mg gram uh, EDT of uh, 2 ml of blood can be used okay EDT is the used in the solid form solid form we can use as solid form also or liquid form also we can use it as from the uh, manufacturing from the unit okay so for the cells count I told you right for the complete blood count all the parameters right or hemoglobin estimation uh, for the reticulocyte count uh, platelet count, WBC total count, uh, all those parameters we are using the uh, EDTA. EDTA so widely now nowadays this is widely used, right? Uh, so these are the containers. These are the EDTA containers, right? So here uh, capable of uh, two mg per ml means uh, that is a capable of so uh, for a cells count uh, up to 12 hours for uh, uh, morphology of cells uh, as like uh, uh, what we do in the peripheral blood smear examination we will check the morphology of cells and the differential leukocyte count for that we need EDTA sample right EDTA sample only we are using right so in, the, in this EDTA sample uh, for the differential count that is a differential leukocyte count peripheral blood smear examination uh, we are using the uh, EDTA sample only so uh, for this analysis uh, we are using EDTA samples that from the collection can use to three hours only after that what will happen means uh, the cells become shrinkage or maybe the bulging or uh, big size uh, it, it, it may occur okay so uh, that is like errors okay so for oxalate uh, sample if you are using oxalate sample may cause uh, shrinkage or maybe the bulge may cause errors okay right so for that only we replace the oxalate that we are using the EDTA only okay so next one is oxalate so oxalate uh, currently we are not using that is a uh, potassium oxalate ammonium oxalate that is uh, double oxalate that we are not using so here what I mentioned here so it causes swelling of the cells RBC and therefore not used for the peripheral blood smear examination or packed cell walling that is called hematocrit erythrocyte sedimentation rate uh, for that error for that causing of the swelling of the cells mainly this causes in the oxalate types causes the shrinkage swelling uh, main problem is swelling and the shrinkage so that we are not using the oxalate that is replaced the oxalate has been replaced by the EDTA Okay. most often used for potassium oxalate most often used for the chemical analysis for the biochemistry here ammonium oxalate can be used for the uh, hematology uh, double oxalate can be used for the uh, this uh, hematology section only to balance the swelling effect of ammonium oxalate and shrinkage effect of uh, potassium oxalate the two are the combined in the mixture it can be used in the ratio of three parts of ammonium and two parts of potassium oxalate Right. The morphology of blood cells is not well preserved. Hence, uh, it has been now replaced by ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid that is called EDTA. Oxalate we are not using, EDTA only we are using. Currently, uh, the oxalate has been replaced by EDTA. It is used in the concentration of 2 mg per ml of the blood. If you are using 2 mg of EDTA or oxalate, how much ml means 2 ml only if it is 2.5 means it is up to 2.5 3 m 3 mg means it's up to 2 ml uh, 3 ml of blood we are using right so next one is uh, sodium citrate sodium citrate is uh, we are using the coagulation profile studies in the hematology coagulation profiles uh, for pt aptt prothrombin time activator partial thromboplastin time not only there citrate type can be used in the blood bank for the collection of the blood from the donors in the blood bag we are using the citrate uh, types only that is uh, acid phosphatase dextose uh, apd that kind of uh, citrate can be used right it is used as a liquid form which is in the dilution of cellular aromatase not suitable for the cell counts 
for many etc. Cells counts mean that is in the hematology complete blood count analysis. Citrate complex thus preventing coagulation of blood. Coagulation studies, this is the citrate can be used for coagulation studies uh, that is for uh, ESR by Westergreen method. How much uh, concentration of citrate can be used in the blood of 0.4 ml of citrate and the 1.6 ml of blood can be used. Blood, in blood bank, uh, it uh, depends upon the blood bank. Okay, blood bank also used as the antical in the blood bank. Blood, what, uh, here I have uh, the picture. This is a cit citrate container. This is for the, uh, this can be for the coagulation profile, right? Coagulation, right? Coagulation profile, right? APTT, pro prothrombin time, APTT, hmm? uh, prothrombin time, activated partial thromboplastin time. Uh, for the, the for this profile, we are using the citrate container. Citrate. This can be used, right? So uh, uh, next, we are uh, we are seeing that is blood bag. Okay, or donor uh, blood collection bag. Uh, blood bag use of anticoagulant bag. So here we can using uh, citrate uh, types, right? Citrate types. Also citrate. Okay, that is can and we APD CPD can be used. Acid phosphatase structure can we are using in the uh, blood bank the two kind of citrate can be used in the blood bank right so uh, these are the uses of the citrate next one is uh, sodium fluoride so what is sodium fluoride uh, where it can be used uh, sodium fluoride can be used in the uh, biochemistry uh, section for the uh, glucose estimation uh, glucose estimation only we are using the fluoride not not for other uh, analysis only for the glucose estimation okay so uh, fluoride can act as an anticoagulant agent uh, which inhibits the use of glucose by blood cells so this can be only used for the uh, glucose estimation glucose uh, studies because it interferes with the enzyme involved in the glycolysis dose of 2.5 mg of uh, ml of blood 2.5 mg means uh, we can use uh, only uh, up to 2.5 ml only okay so uh, tubes can be uh, given here so this is a fluoride tube only for the glucose uh, estimation not for any other estimation only for the glucose estimation okay fluoride tube so this is a sodium fluoride that we are using now also so uh, plain tube also using uh, here uh, how we are analyzing this sample means uh, we are using anticoagulant as a fluoride after centrifugation we are using the plasma only plasma only we are using we can use a plain tube also in the plain tube we are used to take a serum sample only for the analysis of uh, glucose estimation also okay so so next one is uh, lithium heparin so uh, this uh, this is a very good anticoagulant very good anticoagulant so why we are call it as a very good anticoagulant this heparin acts as an anticoagulant by preventing conversion of prothrombin type uh, to thrombin to prevent any ch chances of hemolysis after the blood is drawn so here uh, heparin also we are using uh, in case some emergency request uh, serological test serological test most of the heparin used in the serological test uh, serological section only we used to take uh, sometime uh, urgent request we used to prefer this heparin uh, in the clinical laboratory and not, not only in the clinical laboratory other side also we, uh, we are using that is the dialysis they are people that in the dialysis they are using the heparin uh, also so prevent the blood from the clotting and uh, during the dialysis uh, process right so syringe of tubes heparinized by taking one drop of heparin to wet the inner surface of the syringe of tubes and the blood is collected so syringe of tubes heparinized uh, by taking one drop of heparin one drop of heparin it's uh, very little amount is enough so to wet the inner surface of the syringe of tubes and the blood is collected so uh, for other uh, analysis also we are using the heparin that is called arterial blood gas that is the abg analysis sometimes for the uh, electrolyte estimation most of the time we used to take for uh, when we require plasma sample uh, plasma sample where we required where, or any kind of analysis it is like uh, uh, serological in serology or in serology uh, 
so what we uh, we are using the uh, plasma uh, what we require plasma we require so if in case we if we uh, require plasma samples mean uh, we used to prefer the heparin tube only uh, or osmotic fragility uh, test osmotic fragility test heparin can be used in the where we require the uh, serum or uh, whole blood uh, we used to uh, prefer or we used to recommend the uh, heparin tubes only most of the time uh, serological section we used to take uh, this uh, serology we used to take the heparin tube only depend upon the uh, emergency urgent request we used to prefer the heparin tube because uh, uh, why we are using this uh, heparin means it, uh, it prevent any chances of uh, hemolysis it prevents the any chances of uh, hemolysis so that we are using the heparin okay so heparin also biological anticoagulant that is present in our uh, body right so this is a heparin uh, tube this is a heparin tube uh, this is a green uh, color this is a uh, heparin tube lithium heparin okay so plain tube uh, actually plain tube uh, used take in the part of biochemistry section in biochemistry section there are huge analyses uh, that is like uh, renal function test uh, uh, not only for renal for many of the renal function test electrolyte estimation uh, lipid profile liver function test uh, many type of test we used to take the uh, plain tube why we why we are taking plain tube we, we uh, for the biochemistry analysis require only serum samples so uh, what how we we'll, uh, uh, separate the serum means uh, we used to take plain tube in the plain tube first we used to withdraw the blood sample in the plain tube uh, first you have to clot the blood after that you have to centrifuge and separate the serum sample five minutes you have to keep for the clotting of the blood sample blood then after you have to keep for the centrifugations after centrifugations we used to take the serum sample and then after we used to take the serum sample for the particular uh, analysis of particular test if it is renal function test mean renal function test liver function test mean liver function test thyroid profile mean thyroid profiles or maybe lipid profiles or many kind of uh, test we are taking uh, the uh, plain tube in in the biochemistry section so most uh, most of the chemistry uh, biochemistry analyze including drug levels not only the uh, biochemistry serological uh, test also serological section also we are using the this plain tube uh, if we require serum sample we used to take plain tube that requires serum a serological test that requires serum for immunohematological test that require clotted blood such as abnormal blood group and this antibody antibody test and a cross matching quest for also we are using the plain tube samples this is a uh, plain container uh, this is a clot activator another name is called clot activator this is a clot activator clot activator right so uh, this is uh, why we, it is uh, which uh, it is called as a clot activator means uh, without any anticoagulant that is called uh, clot activator or plain tube this is uh, plain tube contain no anticoagulant without any anticoagulant that is called as plain tube this is the clot activator uh, it takes up to 5 minutes to clot the blood after 5 minutes uh, every uh, clinical laboratory after 5 minutes only that is after only they, they will do the centrifugation process centrifuge after centrifuge only they will take it for the analysis biochemistry test okay so uh, this is a, a plain tube uh, here uh, this can be used for last lot of estimation lot of analysis in the uh, biochemistry uh, section so uh, next one is serum gel separator that is a plain uh, clot activator serum gel separator this is advanced one that is called serum gel separator that is i'll show the picture of the uh, gel container this is advanced one okay so this is advanced one this is this all the advanced one why we are using this uh, this tube main we will get the some urgent emergency request means what we'll do we cannot wait for the 5 minute 5 more uh, minutes so if you take this uh, serum gel separator mains uh, it takes about uh, 2 minutes only 2 to 3 minutes only for uh, clotting the blood so inside the in this tube inside the there is a gel uh, it will absorb the blood cells 
it absorbs the blood cells and it will separate it very easily. Uh, centrifugation process also very easy. Before centrifugation also, that is the, the gel will separate the this con, uh, cell fragments under the uh, uh, serum very easily, right? That's why we are using the serum gel separator. Compare the uh, plain tube serum gel separator can be used uh, for the uh, urgent or uh, or maybe in the uh, emergency cases. So, so this uh, this requires for clotting the blood is uh, very short time. So uh, all tests require serum except those few that need red cell as well as. Uh, the such as uh, abnormal blood group, antibody screening, cold agglutination, after centrifuge the gel forms an effective barrier between the uh, blood clot under the serum. So after centrifugation, centrifugation process also very simple, uh, smoothly it, it will this will go uh, and the inside the uh, tube the, uh, the gel will absorb, absorb the uh, blood cells easily uh, and the process will go. Okay, so this, uh, this is a picture of the uh, the serum cell separator that is a container that is a yellow color tube this will not use all the time when uh, when the cases emergency or or maybe in the urgent request comes then only they will use it this is a gel container so the it's only used for the emergency or in the urgent request it's okay so uh, this uh, this uh, cases also this uh, tubes also uh, very cost compared than the uh, paint tube Right? So, uh, thank you.